Hello everyone, welcome back to Arpita's Tech Corner. In this video, I will go through some possible scenario based Power BI related questions. I hope it will help you to prepare for your interview. Please check the description section for more details. Let's start with our question and answer. Let's start with our 11th question. What do we mean by this data granularity? Data granularity means how much detail level information I have in the data sets. For example, I have sales related data and in that data if I find that it has daily level information that means it has the daily level data granularity. Okay, so this is a very basic question might be if you are freshers then might be you can face this type of question. Our 12th question. In our data sets there is one timestamp column. I want to display date and time separately. What will be the possible approach? There are two possible approaches. I can create separate date and time columns using Power Query Editor also and I can create a duplicate of this column then I can change the data type of one column to date and another column to time. So this is a one option. Second option it could be that using DAX date and time function I can create calculated columns to fulfill this type of requirements. So based on the situation I will use the suitable solution. Okay, Don't try to give the answer only one approach try to provide two approaches and then you can say that based on the scenario I will select the suitable option. Now the Question number 13. Do you know what are the key differences between the Power Query Editor and DAX? Okay, so here we don't need to explain too many details, just we'll try to highlight some of the key points. There are many differences between Power Query and DAX, so some of the key differences are Power Query is used for data profiling, that means data injection, data transformation and cleaning process and DAX is used for data analysis purposes which means applying aggregation, filtering, calculation and relationship building. And Power Query is using M language whereas DAX is a formula expression language or functional language. Okay. Suppose you have created one dashboard in Power BI service for some users who have viewer access to the particular workspace. Now user want daily update about that dashboard. What will be the convenient solution? You can say that I can suggest subscribing to the dashboard because Power BI will send email notification to all subscribers as well as subscribers can choose the frequency of the notification for example daily, weekly, hourly or particular time after refreshing the data. Now the question number 15. Suppose you have one visual that displays the number of orders over the month. A user wants to display the order amount as a tooltip. What are the possible solution? So in this scenario you can say that there are some options which I can apply in this scenario. First add the order amount to the tooltip section of the visual this is the simple option and add the order amount field to the visual filter section so visual filters are usually applied to a single visual this can be very interesting option in this scenario okay question number 16 to identify the outliers which visual you will choose i will use scatter plot to identify the outliers of the data set. So obviously to use the scatter plot our data set should be in a, that format and the criteria will be also we need based on our requirement. Question number 17. After identifying the outliers of a data set what could be the possible solution to deal with that? So in this scenario we say that after finding the outliers I will open the Power Query Editor and select the particular column which has outlier information. 
due to outliers the mean value of that particular field will be affected. So I have to find out whether other column values are important or not. If those are useful information then it is better to replace the outlier value with the median value of that particular column. Otherwise I can delete the row if other columns don't have useful information. So this could be a very interesting question like when you find the outlier what could be the possible solution to deal with that. Question number 18. While importing the data in Power BI, what could be the most possible solution to improve the performance? To improve the performance, it is always better to use a database environment for calculating the complex formula. Okay, so there are many performance related information you can check in Microsoft documentation. But if you want to say one single point, you can say that yes, the most complex, complex formula should be calculated in database environment. Question number 19. Your data set has some impurities such as spaces and special characters. Then what will be the possible solution to remove this? So to remove this kind of impurities, I will use the Power Query Editor. In the Power Query Editor, I will select the particular column and I'll right click then there will be a transform option. Under this option there are many sub options like trim and clean. I will use these options to remove the impurities of the data. So you can answer this question in your way. You don't need to remember this sentence says everything. Just try to highlight the points that you have to use Power Query Editor and there you need to select the particular column and if you right click the column you will find out this transform option under that transform option you will find this trim and clean options. Okay. Now the 20th question. Do you know why we are using row level security in Power BI? To implement the data level security, row level security are used. That means one user can access the permissible or restricted roles. So we have completed some more questions. If you like this video, please share with your friend and colleagues. Thank you. Thanks for watching.